Hey everyone, okay, so today um, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the new mascara by Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Pillow Talk and it is Push Up Lashes and it comes in this rose gold top with a kind of pinkish, you'd as, as you would kind of imagine, Pillow Talk. When I think of Pillow Talk in general, the look, that kind of pinky rose gold, if I were to think of lashes that would go with that look, I would think of very, very fluttery lashes. You know, really sort of fluttery kind of butterfly lashes. And this mascara, I have not had much luck with it. Now, PR sent me this about a week ago now, and I watched the, there was a, a seminar as well given, and I was a part of that and I got to watch it, and it looked really, really exciting. And when this came, I just, I couldn't get it to work properly. And I reached out to PR and they sent me kind of some instructions on how to use it, which are available on the website. But I still can't really get it to work the way I want it to. Now, again, mascara is very, very subjective. Some people will love mascara, some people hate them. You can never find a winner with mascara because everybody is different. It's also worth pointing out that this was sent to me, as I mentioned, with PR. Now, I know a lot of people think that I am, I get a huge amount of PR from Charlotte Tilbury. That is not true. I would say I'm kind of somewhere in the middle ground. Sometimes I'll get sent something, sometimes I won't, but I always purchase my own products as well. And it's worth noting that. I never reached out for them to ask for any refills of anything. I do buy my own products. And I really wanted this to work. Now, according to the, um, blurb, you don't need to curl your lashes. It, it will vertically lift them. There, there is also some nonsense about there being a 27 year journey to find on mascara. It's just bizarre. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the wand. Now the wand is very, very different. It has two spikes on either end and then a two completely flat sides with no spikes whatsoever. Now this is where I got into trouble because I poked myself in the eye three times in a row and not fun. So what you're supposed to do is use the flat side and put it into the root and pull up. Then you're supposed to take the bristled side and comb them through, wiggle and comb them through. The problem with this is that when you're going in with the flat side, you're going in I guess a little bit closer than you normally would with a bristle one because there's nothing there to catch it. So you can go quite close to the eye. The other thing is this formula is very, very wet. And again, when I imagine pillow talk, I think of fluffy eyelashes, not wet ones. And I find this mascara to be very, very wet. So we're gonna do my best now to try and give a really good demonstration of this in a really positive way. Um, I'm going to try and get this mirror as close to me as I possibly can. So you go in with the flat side and you're supposed to go right in and pull up. Let me just go in and you pull up. Now you turn the wand, that was a bit better, and you go wiggle and comb them through. So you comb them through this time has actually gone better than the other previous times. So you just comb them through. And this is supposed to give you very, very fluttery, vertically, horizontal, no, vertically, beautifully long lashes. Now, there you go. So that is one coat. So I'm gonna turn it the other way and we'll do two coats. Now, to me, there is no more real lift to this than there is with any other mascara on an uncurled lash, but I find them with the second coat, I, I find it to be very, very heavy, very wet. And I think if you have very thin lashes, this, the way I like to think of this is when you look at legendary lashes, which I think is a, an amazing mascara, this is not that product. It's just different, it's, it's very different. Okay, so I'm trying not to poke myself in the eye. You're gonna curl up. That's not even the flat side. Oh, it just frightens me going this close. 
So you just push up and then you turn the wand and you wiggle and comb them through. Let's have a look. That was two coats, let's see. There you go, you get to be the judge. So other than some mascara on my eyelid, now the, technically that is one coat because I haven't re-dipped it, but it's two applications. Now if we were to do one more, I think the whole thing would get destroyed because when you're applying it with that flat side, which is completely flat, it may not look at here in the camera, but it is, there's a lot of product on there. And this takes a while to dry. And I just, I just don't love it. It hurts me. And pull up and then you turn it and you comb through. Yep, it's just, it's too much now. Other than that it's all over, it's too much. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I can't get it. Let's try the other eye. Maybe it's just this lash, who knows. So we're gonna get close in. Oh, and you pull up and then you turn, you comb through. Oh, it frightens me. It's just not, I just don't think it's that brilliant. I just feel like maybe I'm just doing it all wrong. Let's have a look, where's that flat side? And then you pull up. Oh, that's what, I mean, there's my, there's a lash on there. Hello, goodbye, wish you well. And comb it through. Oh, look. Most of that mascara is on my waterline, unfortunately. Not an area that I want it to be. On the plus side, very black. Oh. This is not a good advert. If you have this mascara, I'll put a link to it anyway, but if you have it and you love it, but leave a comment, right? Because I'm not getting on with it. Come on, comb through, be beautiful, be long, be what I want you to be. You're not gonna be, look at the state of that. I mean, there is more mascara on my lid now. There's certainly more mascara on my upper waterline. Let's have a look. Oh, mmm, tight line. Come on, get long. Yeah, it's not for me. Can't get it to work. Doesn't look great on me. I mean, not that I wear mascara anyway, but it just it's just not happening, is it? And it's a shame, because I really wanted it to. I really wanted it to. I love Legendary Lashes, but this is not that product. Um, I find it to be very wet and very heavy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you love it, let me know in the comment section. And if like me, you're just not getting on with it, let me know in the comment section, okay? Thanks for watching. See you all soon. You win some, you lose some. Bye-bye.